Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Molum Seven. Late night, early morning. We are back with a second game playthrough of Man of Medina. Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medina. At that. Uh, Wes, tell them when the next part of this is coming out. A uh, little hope uh, comes little out hope. October thirtieth. Yes, yes. So. With that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to try to go play through and get as many of the different endings as we can on up until the 30th. August 20th, baby. Yep, that's my birthday. Holla at your boy. Yep, yep. We appreciate it if you give a like and subscribe. So this is a two-player game. And on the opposite end of the note, Wes Harding. I left his name in the description and in the link. So if y'all want to watch his side of the story, y'all are welcome to. Uh, you can switch back and forth, or you can go check it out after you watch mine, or you know, however you want to do it. Uh, I watch like them at the same time. Watch them at the same time. There you go. Uh, I left his description, his link in the in the the, the bio, and uh, once the, again, the description, <laughs> real talk, the video description. <laughs> The video description. And once again, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're tuning in while you're tuning in, it's late night. Let's go. I'm linking up with you right now, Wes. Man, you know this is five player, right? So we can play with five more people online? No, you can play with five people total, but local, not online. All right. Online is two. I, I did remember you saying that, so... To all of y'all that's listening, to all of y'all that's watching and viewing. Yes, you just told y'all some great brand news right there. Which makes this a very valuable game if you want to have an in-house session with your family. And y'all want to be creeped out a little bit and try to get away with your life. Yeah, let's go. Also, you only need one controller for the five people. Mm-hmm. Which, that sounds crazy to me. Yeah, it does, because it should be multiple controllers. Uh, if y'all haven't seen the gameplay of Erica, which was in the free-to-play store last month, I also played through that, and there are also multiple endings on that game. Was that so, good? It was pretty deep, bro. It was pretty deep, I have to say. So I will be giving that a second round of applause. Uh, outside of dealing with my regular life, uh, you know, I, I'm not on all the time, but Did I'm you ready on up? all the time. Yeah, so how do I ready up? Press X, should be. Yeah, I'm ready to. There we go. Let's go. Well, it looks like I got someone watching. Really? Already? So how much is it to pre-order the, the next segment, or is that even possible? Uh, I haven't heard anything about pre-order, but it should be its own title. Like, it's an anthology, so each one's going to be kind of like a short story. All right, all right. Here we go, y'all. Late night, early morning. You ready to get creeped the fuck out. So I don't remember exactly what our gameplay was like last time, but we definitely have to choose opposite game paths as we did the last time. Well, I mean, if we don't miss so many and, like, get fucked up during the boat scene, we should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you said if we don't get fucked up. <laughs> you know that's in there. What's going on with it? Who's speaking? State your name, state your presence, state your claim. I was glad to have a view. Stay tuned, strap on your seatbelt. It's about to go down, baby. Nick Mercado, shouts out to Nick Mercado. Hey, be sure to leave a like. I'm going to be kind of quiet so y'all can watch the scenery. Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. 
I don't remember if I was Joe or Charlie to begin with last time. I believe I was the shy guy and you were the guy with the girlfriend. What's in store for me, Pop? You do things here, Pop. I know you ain't no girl now, bro. What's happening with you? I just found my Need for Speed, so we're gonna be I'm, we're gonna be hopping on Need for Speed tomorrow. So it'd be good to have you in the session. I'd be glad to have you there. Invite all your friends. I know you were part of the Merc crew, which was my original crew. I know that's right. You wouldn't by chance have the man of Madonna, now, would you? The man of Madonna, should I say. What they got you doing right now, bro? I'm talking to the fortune teller. Not with Link Crew anymore. Oh no! It's all good, man. Not a problem. Uh, you welcome to join the street crew if you want. Good luck. You uh, you got another quarter on you. Enjoy the show. This is a very nice game, bro. I might turn subtitles on. I was thinking the same kind of. I can't count game. I got subtitles on, bro. I think I do. Whew. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Yeah, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck. With a wood, Chuck, Chuck, and a Chuck, man, Chuck. Man, you're Chuck. Wood. You're Chuck. I know, right? Hey, don't tell me you, you got beat up by that dummy, did you? <laughs> nah, I said I beat the shit out of the dummy, bro. In the same note, Tom, I appreciate it. If you like, share the content. Share it on uh, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter. Also, I will be having a Facebook gaming page coming up soon. I'm actually working on my title and stuff and my border and header for my YouTube right now. I'm going to keep the game rolling and keep up alive. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Molum7 Gaming, 7 Seas Productions. Let's go! This is the type of game. They drunk as shit, bro. They drunk as shit, bro. Yep. Oh shit, I gotta knock this motherfucker out. Yeah, Mo, go to jail. Well, fuck that bullshit, bro. <laughs> they just put, they just said they putting your ass in the brig. Right, right, right. <laughs> Woo, had a good workout today.
once again, this is one of those games that you want to play when you have a, a nice amount of time. And it's also two players online. And as Wes Harden said, be sure to go check out his page. That's Wes Harden. I left it in the game description. So you can click on it because each character sees something completely different as they're playing together. So that's what makes this game so awesome. And the same Man, note. We could have done the director's cut. What's the director's cut? It's uh, downloadable content after you beat go through it one time which we did so let's do that next time yep or you know I'm settings yeah uh, audio language oh you went and stopped it okay I think settings, you did. settings audio language toggle and subtitles on toggle subtitles on bet alright I just did it All right, so we just turned the subtitles on just in case the gameplay is uh, too low. Good night, good night with my, my good friend. I'll holler at you tomorrow. You got to, yeah. All right, I'll continue. My boy in jail, my boy in a brick. We need to put some money on his books, that's it. Yeah! Charlie is in prison. Make sure you leave a like, bro. Appreciate you, man. Now what I didn't do, bro, Wes, is I did not look to see what the trophies are, and there's specific things that we need to pick up. Like it was the same thing in Erica. There are specific things that we need to pick up to change the dialogue and to get a trophy for it. Yeah, but it's fine. We can do look at trophies later. I mean, this is only our second playthrough. Right, right. Supposed to be like 12 endings, apparently. Man, that's a lot. All right. My homeboy just subbed to you, bro. That's what's up. Thank you. Yeah, man. Watch us and fall asleep, man. You know what it is. You might get a little jump scare or something. Man, hey, hold on. I press X to open the door. What are you doing? You, you can't. Got them, got them SpongeBob Square pants. You might as well just look shit. around the room. I already did. Oh shit! I already looked every damn way. Let's go back in the cell and have a bad dream or some shit. Can we use the faucet? Yeah, there we go. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Get me out of here already. Open the door so I can punch him in your motherfucker. <laughs> he knocked the shit out of his ass. Of course. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Yeah, I opened the locker and a dead guy fell out. I don't know if I want to follow you. You be on some bullshit. You might try to turn around and swing on me.
How can I keep calm at a time like this? <laughs> Well, I think he's dead. Sound like he killed his motherfucking self. What the hell? What was that? No. No, there's a fucking child running around this ship. That is not a good sign. You saw it already? I didn't see the motherfucker. Shout out this... to my home girl, Lady Red Two Four Seven. Hope you get to check out the content. Shout out to my homeboy, Memphis Red. Hey, Charlie, help! Yeah, Charlie. Come you gotta on, tap. Go you gotta tap it a little. I gotta faster. keep tapping it. All yeah, right, you gotta it. tap it faster. I'm getting my tap on. I'm getting my tap on. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. I like how Charlie's hey. o the only one bothered by all this. Joe's walking around like it's all normal. Yeah, like it ain't shit. He's still drunk. That's probably what it is. <laughs> my ass sober as fuck. They locked my ass in the bridge. Christ. Another body. He done, he done had a good ass now. Oh, damn. Nap so good, I don't think he waking up. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Whew, I don't know about you, but it's hiding a bitch over here, bro. Yeah, Chuck. Man, I was just drunk in a bitch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, no, that's where we came from, so we go this way. Hold three. Said somebody in here, you had to take my headset off. I'm 
motherfucker saying random shit. Oh God, no, Charlie! What'd you choose, bro? I hear. Where? You hit? Oh, shit! I got fucked up! Yeah, I think I just shot you up. I just had a heart attack. You had a heart attack, and I just... <laughs> we both got fucked up, that's the case, because you shot me all the way the fuck up. And I opened up the locker, and there was that little kid in there, and the little kid kind of turned into, like, a zombie, and then he had a heart attack. I just saw the dude that we was that I was playing chess with. Or, like, Chinese chess or checkers or something. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna write this down, bro, so I can know what the fuck we did. So I can. Well, there's no change. Awesome. Well, the prologue, like this part, there's no changing it. It's the same every time. It's the rest of the game that you can change. I think this was the same, damn near the same time. No, we started playing in like, I think it was like one o'clock the last time we played, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's fucking Indianapolis time is 423. 327. That's Indianapolis, Indiana. Where you at, bro? Tell them where you at. Houston, Texas. Oh yeah, five star state. Give me that big ass steak. They still be giving, they still serving up that 20 ounce steak. And if you get eat all that bitch, then you get your whole shit for free. I'm pretty sure it's 28 ounce. And that's up at uh, the stockyard in Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth. Dude, I wanted to do that challenge for my girl at the time. She was like, nah. She said, I know you can eat it, but we gotta hit the road. I was like, no, let's go do this. That'll be a good memory, and I get my picture on the wall. Being a fat motherfucker, knowing I ain't fat, but still, I would've fucking, boy, I'd have smashed that dick. They don't give you no time limit. I wish they would've done the original song to this. Living the life oh, you to be Okay, be yeah. Killed. It's am it's an Amarillo and it's a seventy two ounce steak. Yep, Amarillo, Texas. Yep, right. That's, we stayed in uh it's four and a half pounds. Hotel. I know, right? We stayed in the We stayed in Castle Camelot, the Castle Camelot Hotel out there. And you have an hour. It's not an unlimited time. Welcome to my repository. Oh, you have an actual hour to eat it? Mm-hmm. So why are disposable nitrate gloves, 20-pack, uh, Revenant latex-free gloves, the Black Pro that I use for tattooing, they are no longer available on Amazon. I need some right now.
I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed, no mercy, and dude. life and death. I'm out there to look up some more again. I'm here to record the story you Damn, choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Sometimes you will be determining a story together, sometimes separately. What one does may not make complete sense to the other, because we all have different perspectives. But as in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect each other. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer that's all for the moment we'll talk again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made well I certainly might appreciate you and your vindictive statements Fucking with gloves went up, bro. They twenty four dollars, dog. Okay, how many come in there, box? Ninety quantity. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I definitely take that. So I'm gonna have to ten, uh, send my one rotary machine that I just bought. I'm gonna have to send it back, man. It is, it's fucking garbage. It's hot as shit, but it's garbage. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Mm. Are you serious? I mean, are you serious? You came out here without taking any lessons. Uh, I can't even send it back. It's past the time. You, you, making choices, right? Yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't. I didn't have time. You know, I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Whoa! Careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Oh, bro. Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? They don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Damn. All right, yeah, go. Brad. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shock. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. 
Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? This, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut, so If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Want to crack the cold one with Gee, if you have to think about it that hard, I'm gonna guess the answer is no. So, first dive, you and me? I... If you can keep up this time. I get a better view when I'm behind. Uh-huh. Warmer back there too, huh? <laughs> you on mute? Nah, bro, I'm here, oh. man. Just reading the reviews on this tattoo machine. Ah, shit. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... Oh. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Paid $115 for the other, the last tattoo machine I bought, but I love the, the little rotaries that I do my lining with because they're so accurate and they work good. And they're cheap. They cheap, but what can I say? You know how you go buy a set of pencils and you want the finest tip and uh, the sharpest precision? Sometimes cheaper is better quality. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. I'm well, looking for better quality tests. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, to make some better nice quality. places where you Alex, can just take, you know, come here. a nice dive. I think we got something. Hmm. I was so sure it would be here. Because, yeah, I mean... What are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Flip! We found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way?
Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't die? You know what you're deciding? Yep. I'm gonna be Aaron here. The right Looks way. good. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Oh, there's different things you can do around the boat. I know. This is, we gotta go metal again. Did you pause? Nuh uh. Oh shit. Well, I didn't mean to pause. Shit, I want to be the one to go diving this time. You are. Alright, bet. Good shit, last time you the one went diving. Mm -hmm. What's up? Mom, I want to go to the candy store and get the bags of chips. <laughs> Upstairs, grab some so water real quick, bro. Thing. No worries, dude. Did more than that just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Let's see if I can go piss this chick off. I'm trying not to piss her off this time. I pissed her off last time. She was like, man, you don't know this motherfucker. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. <laughs> Lula, he's an asshole. He want to talk that good shit. There's a locked door down here in the cabin. No, I want to. Got to utilize this game chair, man. I'm gonna fucking lean, lay back and relax. Yeah. The Duke of Milan. Yeah, you know, shit, I'm trying to get this motherfucker. What are we looking around for now? Uh, this doesn't look culture. Matter of fact, we'll just move this shit all the way the fuck out of my way. There we go. Go downstairs, check that out. Go talk Man, to it might be a, it might be a chick with her wig off down there, man. Yeah. For a reason, you guys gotta respect that. Bliss, we paid a lot of money for this particular dive in this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No I don't want to use my camera mic, like, man, but these headphones these got me sweating like a motherfucker right now, stuff. dog. Dang. How much experience do you have with these kinds of dives? Oh yeah, okay. 
So we get a trophy for I mean, I know like you know oh, how man, we walk up. To... Man, you looking at it? What? You get a trophy for what? Like if we look at the more stuff that we look at and it zooms in and gives us like a photographic memory, you get a trophy for that kind of shit. Oh, for the premonitions? Yeah. This dive is supposed to bankroll the fee. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. I found a bitch's head in a locker, bro. This could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal what? and What? I wanna come see. A bag of condoms in a deal, though. <laughs> I get it. How much? How much what? Nah, this dude knows his fuck, man. He need his Stop ass. Reading down her neck. Stop going through you... motherfucking shit, boy. Go through my shit like that. Money. Catch you and beat the fuck out you your ass. Hang you off the side of the boat. What, you were going through somebody's shit? Yeah. Oh, nosy motherfucker. I did the same thing. I'm coming down there to, to meet up with you. Man, I could not open this door. How you feeling? Shouldn't have that beer. Tanks are ready when you are. Were you able to open that? Uh, actually, which door? The one right across from you, behind you. Oh uh, no, nah. cause I'm in here talking to dude. That's the difference between this and Erica, though. Erica is just like it looked like a fucking movie, bro. Yeah, it it's was a straight up right there where I just was. To your right. Uh, nope, can't open it either. Did you already find the chick's wallet and shit? Yeah. I'm gonna go over and be nosy. <laughs> I remember last time I got stuck and I couldn't get back upstairs. Turned your shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> I know what a power button is, though. You might want to just let it do its thing. You talking about through the GPS and shit? <laughs> yeah, turn that bitch off. She gonna be pissed. She was, she was like, you know how to use that? And he was like, uh, no. Is it off? I think so. Yeah, it is off, because god dang it, I can't turn it on now. Respect that. Well, hey, I like it when you're strict. Sometimes I just want to be kept in line, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind a little submission now and then. Is there no way for you to turn that off? Turn what off? That thing where you have to hit on. Conrad, give me a hand. Damn. Okay, so this is the rebreather. <laughs> Did I cut you off? Yeah, you <laughs> cut me off, motherfucker. Just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces the compression time on your way up. Man, why are shoulders look bigger than mine? I mean, wider than mine. What, you ain't working out? Yeah, I'm working out. I'm just saying, as a game character, her shit looks a little wide as fuck. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely <laughs> forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Bluey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Dude, I do not want to do her again. You don't remember we... Started off as two different people. Like I started off as Charlie last time. Thanks, Dick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. You keep cutting me off. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. Are you gonna bring your bangs, Dick? 
That front oh, cabin is gonna yeah. pop its portholes. That was lame as fuck. I wish I was standing behind him. I slap him beside the back of his fucking head. <laughs> right? She was looking at him like, what the fuck you with that lame ass chick for? She ain't got no boom boom. Why he got more ass than her, bro? I'm sorry. I, I just had to look because it was right there beside each other. <laughs> I mean, she is shorter than he is, so. It don't matter. I'll... That's all. That's. Oh, Chocha, that is no boom boom room. I'm sorry, it's just not. Yeah, that's what I'm All right, I take it I'm going down in, into the, the river. A river? We in the fucking ocean. I know, man. I had to say some dumb shit for the fan. I got three people watching right now. And once again, we'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're tuning in while you're tuning in, it's your boy Molum7 Gaming, 7 Seas Productions, playing two player with Wes Harden. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel also. Same journey, different roles. Watch them both at the same time. Sure. Why not? Damn, man. Do I got time to run upstairs? I need to go get some water, bro. I'm fucking dehydration besides. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? CJ. It's a long story. It's complicated. Open this up. It's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. Smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. Oh, damn. I suppose we could have that conversation. I couldn't catch her in time. Let her get cut. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Thank you, sir. Such a wonderful young man. Hey, if you go to my YouTube channel, I'm streaming right now. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Hello again, little blips. What you doing all the way out here? Wes, do you think that the game remembers? I don't know. We went to a new game, so. Oh, I can go into that room now. Why do I keep these around? Oh, uh, you found a picture now. Uh huh. That room that was locked that we couldn't go in. Going. Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, yeah, it just pops up on my screen and says you found so. Yeah, well, uh, go easy on the booze. If you're just now tuning in, we are playing the man of Madai. Be sure to leave a like. Also, if you want to see the alternate role that's being planned right now, check out Wes Harden's channel, and it's in the game description. Tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. These nuts! So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight. And I think I pushed X on the wrong I thing because I was trying to push X on the other thing. I just hope they respect the site. People died there. We understand right. They get it. But... 
I'm had sure a bearing of day. I think I should have fucking. I wish I would have been paying attention so I could have. Oh shit! Here we go. Dead man walking. We got a dead man down in this bitch. And he got a pit. Oh shit! Electric eel just jumped out on. Me. Dude got a forty in his hand. A dead dude down here. Oh, I'm not surprised. What you doing up there, bro? Man, Flirting with that chick? Nah, man, I'm playing as the chick. You playing as the chick? Which yeah. chick? The only chick the that's up here. The boat driver? Yeah, the other chick's down there with you. Oh shit, I done fuck with something. Get your ass out of there. There's always you hard-headed ass females that go fucking with shit. Alright, here go the other thing I was trying to push X on. Let's see what this does. Another dead man float. And she just gotta go touching dead people and shit. She a freak. I just found something. Should we take it? Take it, you little weirdo. Why didn't you just take it? Hey there. Souvenir. Hey, there. Alright, let's you go. Like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Oh, I think I already been in here. Fucking with shit. Charm is not among them. Ah, but my <laughs> Man, this rumor. chick is flat ass to the motherfucker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. She suffers from that one disease. No ass at all. Track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you Whoever's a watching, state your name, state your claim. Private. Private. Let me just know just who just it is. Say what's happening. If you can, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, you know what it is. It's your boy Molum7 Gaming, 7 Seas Productions. And once again, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in if you're tuning in while you're tuning in. I just caught another premonition. Maybe later, if you stay on my good side. So, hopefully, I don't fucking suffocate you if that's the case. What's that about? <laughs> fishing boat from the looks of it how should we handle this so I don't know what the fuck this dude is but he is not following me oh shit we yawning cause it's early morning <sighs> I'm the captain. hey bro don't be fucking copying me motherfucker man yawning's contagious I'm about to be a hard head ass motherfucker I said fuck it nigga I'm about to go out here and check that shit out Oh shit. So I tried to go in and hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. I tried to go in the little tunnel. What do you think? Like uh ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Yeah, right. This old phosphorus ass you. motherfucker. Let's just throw in the whole pot. Just throw a whole bunch of money into the water. Hey, I did that last time. No! I guess they didn't need the money. The only thing funnier than watching you try to buy your way out of that situation is seeing your money go to waste. <laughs> Smile out of you. Work every penny. You're a piece of work, Conrad. I'm not all work. I'm a little play, too. Are you trying to flirt with me? Is it working? I don't even know what it is. 
Well, this bitch. Think of something. I'll just be over here taking in the view. Flirting now watch him drop that head. motherfucker. Wait. Fucking weirdo. Okay, I think they're on their way back up. And I was. Uh, I got a trophy. Yes, yes, I'll marry you. Pick me. You can call me Grill Capitan. You may like the grill, but I will never call you that. <laughs> you heard me. Yup. Yeah. Oh shit. What y'all for doing, bro? Man, we we blowing shit up. Uh damn Fliss, I I'm sorry. Damn it! This is my fault. My boat, my fault. You're gonna have to save me, motherfucker, because I'm coming up there because my brother up there and he weird as shit. And I bet y'all up there doing stupid shit. You didn't wait. Oh, motherfucker's gonna get the bins. Don't you know what decompression sickness is? Yeah, I do know what decompression sickness is. That makes your body lock up and makes it hard to breathe. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. It's like when you change altitudes. What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys! Can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit, dude, bro, congrats! Nice hey, time. did you marry him last time? Nuh uh Well, good. I got a different, a different outcome than you do. Already coming. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Damn me a hater. But in the beginning and in the ending. I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're tuning in, while you're tuning in, it's your boy Molum Seven Gaming, Seven Seas Productions, playing two-player multiplayer on Man of Medan with my boy Wes Hardy. So we're like ten seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain. I mean, she like, is certainly meatball. high. This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where yeah, is she? I want to wear that pussy out, bro. This lady was impressed. Yeah, well played there, man. No, wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more? It's her mano. He helped Fliss. She a fucking not gold her mano. Some, and then he got drunk. Right. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us, and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck. If you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. What'd you find, motherfucker? I'm looking at the camera, motherfucker. This badge, Conwin Island. I was totally right. You'd be telling me when you find shit. I know. Tells me when you find shit. What? If 
if your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of a century, people are gonna think I married you for your money. No, oh, I was hoping they'd think you. Oh. Did, oh, did R1. You pause the no, but apparently pressing R1 does that. Yeah, it does. What's going on? Who's in the chat, man? State your name, state your presence. Let me know how you're feeling. Hey, dude. Kind of a private moment. Ah, shit. Sorry. <laughs> He would. Alex, the money thing really doesn't bother me, but it clearly bothers you. And that's a problem for me. What does that mean? Should I do something? Oh, damn. Sorry. Let's just go fuck. Didn't mean to yeah. Interrupt. Oh yeah. Be a freak. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> whoever joined in, whoever joined in live, whoever's watching live, state your name, state your presence. Be sure to leave a like. I greatly appreciate it. Once again, I like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're tuning in, why you're tuning in? Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Bro, she didn't get the beans. You said she was hiring the motherfucker. Oh, no. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was looking for her to lock up like a goddamn sea crab. It'll be a man post-proposal. We're leaving, honestly. Did you get her to drink? Uh, she ain't drank nothing yet. Why'd you do it on the dot? I'm looking at the photos and shit that you took. It's not that memorable. <laughs> I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is Hold on. I think I was supposed to stop on this one picture or something. Because I had a side is bridge open up. School? Is this what you were talking about? I'm sorry I kept it to myself. Right. I'm gonna go on down here and get this shit. Let shit. me go mad them. That's a weird Find out what the fuck this bitch got going on with it. There was this poster that she was going on with the Navcon. Anyone could be a spy. Did you really think I thought you were spying for Julia? Keep your enemies closer. Oh my God, stop. So we gonna leave that motherfucker on. I'm not about tomorrow? to get us stranded. It ain't gonna be my fault. It'll be your fault, bro. So you think? I, hold on. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. What? Uh, I'm trying to see if I can go in that room that I couldn't go in. No, I think it was only for Fliss. For no, it's open. You got a girlfriend? I'm gonna guess that's a no, then. Barbecue, boy, you better tap that ass, boy. You better tap that ass! Girls. I, I don't get it. Well, they're quite good in bed. I'm just saying, let it happen. Oh, um, fucking right listen. He probably borrowed the money to get that ring from her brother. Hey, well there, sailor. Hey, I'm gonna get you drunk and push you off the side of the boat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Julia. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think I'm or Alex. I thought you was the dude. No, I thought you was his black brother. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. Hello? Yeah, um, fucking Brad. Yeah, it's, uh... Or not... Yeah, podcast. Brad. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little knife. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> it's really serious. Alright, so now I'm about to get to bed. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink him. If you got him, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something he's playing. Hold on, I think we, I'm going to get the beans later on. Make, make, her, make her drink. I'm telling you, take orders from this guy, just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. Oh, shit, she might pop that pussy tonight. Check it out. <laughs> 
Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage, huh. and it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew is from Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Wes, that sounds like something you would say, Bureau Clock. I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, no. On. We've been through this already. I don't drink. About the law. Your problem, not mine. Looking ass. No, it's not my problem. All right, man. You know what? Just toke it up. No, Matter of fact, I will. Whatever you Fire that shit up right motherfucking now. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. Say anything to shut this bitch up. Should have she never up gone down to that plane in the first place. It's she do got some pretty eyes, you can though. You scavenge down there, and it makes no difference. But every single thing you bring back has an essence. There you go, Mo. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. <coughs> blow that, blow that <coughs> shit in the screen. You never think about. You gotta get to a cam, Wes. Never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool. Man, I don't want motherfuckers seeing me. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you Hey, man, we only live ready. once, brother. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. <laughs> Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Well, I'm going to get a, gonna get a camera, and too, the though. entire time I'm broadcasting, yeah. I'm just going to keep it on the dog. This story is true. It is happening That's right what's up. That'll be a good shit. Lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? Come on now. Reveal your sources. The light no. stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? Your mama! woman says it was my brother and she turns to the closet and says he's hiding in there oh great blame the brother so the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet opens the door and sure enough there's a man inside but he's cut his own throat horrified he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark closer 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 and he sees it's his own Face. And then its eyes wow. open and screams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> so gross. <laughs> 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 
Super twist. Nice. You laugh like you jumped. Wes, you look like that, dude. Man, you know what? I probably do. <laughs> you look like that, dude. Oh, Disappointing. That wasn't scary. That sucked. That sucked uh, monkey balls to a wooden straw. Okay, you all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather. That yeah, shit. No, 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 because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. Wes, to that's why you got shoulders like that girl. Issues are these? <laughs> like standard the boat driver. Regulatory institutional oh, hey, hey, at least they're bigger than yours. Uh-huh. You got me <laughs> fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one earlier saying, man, why her shoulders look bigger than mine? <laughs> I'm just saying, the little white chick, she got some broad-ass shoulders, bro. That's all I'm saying. It looked like she pulled her shoulders back five times in this motherfucker. <laughs> Duke of Milan. Uh, it's about to get interesting, ain't it? So what are we don't. We tr are we gonna try to kill him as fast as we can, or are we trying to like? Uh, what did we do last time? Did we like stall? All or but what did we do? all but one died last time. We don't want to kill the motherfucking people off. Yeah, we uh. want to keep everybody alive if we can. Cause I know we killed our fucking brother like ASAP. Oh man, I'm hitting all my buttons. What you mean you hit all your butt? My like reaction thing. Dude woke him up, I had to press triangle and then I had to press square and I grabbed a beer bottle and broke it over his face. Put a knife to my Shit, throat and told me to cool it. Yeah, I don't know if I hit the button in time, but I think I did, but I'm not sure. But once uh -huh. again, we'd like to thank y'all for tuning in if you're tuning in while we tuning in. It's your boy Molum7 and Wes Harden, and we are playing Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Madai. Let's go. I bet she mad. She smelling his ass and everything. Man. <laughs> but what? You ain't mad I didn't take the tape off your mouth? Nigga, you better take the motherfucking tape off my mouth. I'm, I'm your wife in the game, motherfucker. I am Conrad. Oh, well shit, I don't know who the fuck you playing with. We gonna leave this motherfucking mouth tape, cause... He say the dumbest shit. <laughs> oh, I'm on gagging, fuck it. You know what's funny? I just had a chance to take your tape off and I tried talking to the chick. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you was gonna be on some bullshit, I see. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> this old Indugu warrior coming this motherfucker, he about to start talking cash. Don't you ungag Alex. You keep that duct tape on his mouth. I already ungagged him too fucking late. Damn it. Hey, so uh good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. I threw a bunch of money at him. You fucked up in terms of money. Should I untie this bitch, nigga? I'm gonna untie him, but ain't that how we got his ass beat the fuck up last time? Nuh uh, we did it by untying her. Alright, yeah, cause at least me and him can jump her ass and she can run her mouth. <laughs> 
It'll be a decoy or some shit. Right? Something like that. I don't know. Woo! We're gonna try to see. I got three questions. Why is everybody fucking barefooted? Even the motherfuckers is jacking the plane. If there's anything that I would do, I would stab this motherfucker in his toe, I would break his toe, or I'd bite that motherfucker. Oh shit. I went to go for his leg, man. And... You just oh, looked you at me. Be... Damn. No, I tried to go for the nigga's ankle. Like, I gotta be quick on my toes, yo. Yeah, you gotta be paying attention. You tried to punch man, me and I missed it. Shit, I ain't even see you, and I wasn't even trying to punch you. No, the dude tried to punch me, and I hit my cute my he did, thing. Man, he just hit he hit he hit her brother in the nuts, nigga. And it's like he ain't got nothing. I think he about to get popped. Pop 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 goes my night. Oh. I know that's right. <laughs> man, we got to get these motherfuckers. I'm with her, man. She got balls, man. Shit, you married the right one, if that's the case. At least she ain't no hoe ass. I am Conrad. I'm talking about the chick, what she just said. Oh, oh I, ain't even, I ain't even even in the same thing as you. Yeah, you about to get your fucking cutthroat if your ass ain't on point with your goddamn reflexes. So, motherfucker, make sure you don't cut your damn throat and shit. Nah, he just cut the tip of my ear off. Really? Yep. Oh, shark bite motherfuckers. They need that whole ass with Not half of it, the whole ass. I, Ooh. I told him, fuck you, and he cut the tip of my ear off. You still got the tip of your ear if I can see it. No, it was the other side. Stop it, let her go. It's his right ear. See? And dude is stupid as fuck. Why did he get up and start? Because <laughs> you just said he's stupid as fuck. <laughs> he's stupid, man. Why did he get up and start banging on the door, you dumb bitch? And, and they thought that y'all was tied up. Come on, man. That, that was no sense right. at all, man. That didn't make no sense. Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Man. Remember, we gonna try to break out of here through the window, but we gotta time it right with the thunder. Once we get Julia back, it will take the last breath. Man, why are you putting your hands behind your back like they didn't just see you bang on the door like a dumbass? Well, they could have. He could have got up and just been ramming his shoulder. So, I would use that as an alternate excuse. But in the same note, he was dumb as fuck. Because there ain't no way in hell. I'm gonna say what happened. Tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have? Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. It's okay. It's okay. That's material shit, bitch. I still got that pussy. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. This your boy Molum Seven Gaming Seven Seas Productions. And once again, I like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're tuning knife. in while you're tuning in. Oh, she's got clippers. Seconds. <clears throat> Storm's eight miles away. 
in here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy is here. He's got a gun. We, we gotta try to break out. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Bro, look at how this dude's chest is shaped, bro. It look like it's about to fall off and shit. His chest is like okay, it's sliding so, down on So Conrad's gonna try to get to the boat. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off. Seven. Okay, so the next one's gonna be six. The first one was eight. Good call. So this one's gonna be six. You guys, distract them. Come on, Conrad. Just stay focused and get to the boat. I just said six. Dude. I can't. Uh, yeah, Mo. Get to the boat. We got it open. But you're supposed to do it quietly. I'm sorry, bro. I was looking down. Man, and I pushed the egg. Oh my god. Egg. Conrad's dead. Did he get shot? Yeah. God uh, damn, we lost life. the motherfucker already. Bitch. Yeah, well, you know, if you would have done, like, the break window in time. Take this. Use it if you have to. Alright, Wes, it was my fault. You want to rub something else in right now? <laughs> No nah, man, you got Conrad killed. Sit. No. Dude, I fucking <laughs> looked over to grab my motherfucking shit, grab my drink, and when I looked back up, it had the thing ticking and shit, so I pushed the button. Bitch looking out the window. Connie can take care of himself. All right. Connie is dead. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. Hey, 
Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Man, their reaction time is quick you, as fuck. Come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And maybe consequences. Well, that was probably a dumb question to ask. Yeah. Milan requesting weather update. Over. We read you. Everything okay? Over. Listen to me. We have been kidnapped. I repeat, that's the west. You're 20 miles north of. Ah! That was a brilliant idea. Motherfuckers won't get away with this. The police is gonna hunt you down. Dream on. Ocean's a big place. Easy to get lost. Damn. See, I'm looking away again. Man, why are you looking away? Okay, I'm not, man. I'm, I was I was actually about to look up your channel, man, if you know. Man. Okay, I won't. I won't. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You don't screw us over in this just because you're doing some <laughs> extra. I ain't looking up your channel to see what you're doing. seconds after like whatever you see on my channel it's like five seconds behind remember I know right it's not like it would matter anyway to have lost another one already. Some people should take greater care over the decisions that they make. Yeah, Mo. God damn you, man. <laughs> <laughs> take greater care over the decisions you make. Ain't that the truth. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Last time we said no. Okay. Your 
in agreement. Clue it is. Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. And once again, we'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're tuning in while you're tuning in, it's your boy Molum Seven Gaming, Seven Seas Productions, along with my boy Wes Harden. Whoo! Third chapter. Reaction time was off. Let's get it together, y'all. Well, Mo got caught and killed. Oh, just tell on me, why don't you? I will. You killed my favorite person. And that arrogant little prick. He wasn't shit. Man, Connie was the best thing that happened to this game. Remember the first one? He was the shit. Mm -hmm. How do you Damn share it. this shit on PlayStation? Go. What the hell is wrong with me? You got a hidden trophy. Didn't tell me I did. Jesus. You pause it, bro. Hold on, my controller died. Uh oh. Dead controllers, dead man. Sorry about that, we had technical difficulty. Now I press and we are streaming live, y'all. I pressed ready. Alright, let's go. We had a little technical difficulty. Shit. Thankfully I, I got two I controllers. It's way up, bro. I got five of them bitches. I think you're Fliss, she ain't moving. What the fuck is it keep following? You pressed R1. Is that the you pressed R1. Oh, yeah, I did. It's L1 to walk faster. No, I don't wanna. You walking up on me, girl, I'm gonna pinch that titty. I'm gonna keep trying to walk back. Move. No. Try to get out the boat. Try to get out the boat without him. <laughs> he keeps shoving me, Mo. Come help me deal with this motherfucker with one eye. <laughs> Shit, we should just jump the motherfucker. I told you that before. Right, but you gotta come back. God damn it. Alright. Uh, nah, he just pushed my ass too. Fuck. 
you ain't even back here with me though. Imagine what's crawling on oh, No, motherfucker, I wanted to check out what what that X thing was. What what the fuck was there? Shit, I was hoping it was a piece of spaghetti, a motherfucker like me. Hungry than a bitch. I lost my bracelet. Oh, damn. First my ring and now my bracelet. I just ran out of seeds, bro. Major technical difficulty. Oh my god. The fuck? Bitch, if you don't quit pushing me. Motherfucker keeps pushing me. I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Bow. I don't like this place at all. Do with us. I just found Miller's uniform. Who's Miller? I don't know. I thought it was one of the dudes that we was playing with at the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, Joe Miller. This motherfucker jumping from rats and shit, old pussy ass. What the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, it was spider webs. I was looking like the fucking racks on the left as we were walking by. It looked like it was rising and falling, like someone was in it breathing. It was weird. Then I saw it was spider web. Don't get scared now, you hear? That was nice of you. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. And the water's glistening all over her body. Why do I feel like kerosene would not stay good for that long? It was kerosene. Kerosene lasts for a long time, bro. But what's it been like? 30, 40 oh, years? What the hell is this fucking place? to have something to do with the mentory and gold. I mean, it's been at least 20 years since the prologue. Anyone else creep the fuck out by this ship? I know, right? No battery. No battery. No battery. So, was mentory and gold the name of the ship? That'd be really worse. I've seen some pretty weird names for ships. Mm, Man, she cool. is high as a motherfucker. Remember decompression and alcohol? Just sit around. We need a plan. A beer, bro? That shit ain't gonna get nobody fucked up. You gotta already be drinking liquor to get fucked up off some beer unless you drink like we twelve of them. Just... We need to call the Coast Guard, but the Duke's radio is shot. We gotta find the radio on this ship. I'm worried about Conrad. He took a bullet while we were making our great escape. He's fine. He'll be fine. Julia, listen. We can't count on Conrad. He... He's my brother, and he's not gonna let us die out here. So... What's the status of the Duke? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating grid without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here.
Wait, there's a picture over here. Mo? Mm hmm. I'm watching, I'm listening to that. This is creeping me out. What you thinking, bro? Damn, look. 
a strong hand. Yeah. Hold on. Why would they just leave it to her to barricade the door? Why wouldn't? Yeah. Fucking lame ass motherfucker. Yo, yeah, Brad. You piece of shit. I like how Brad dipped off first. <laughs> Why do you like Brad so much? Man? I don't. Brad's a punk ass. My favorite person died. Are we safe now? Well, we won't kill him next time. Bro. How do you know? Because <laughs> maybe I'm gonna push the button on time, goddammit. Are you actually gonna do it at six instead of four? Man, maybe I won't be looking out, looking at my six, trying to pick up my motherfucking pop while I'm fucking on that shit. What you in there looking at? Why would it be off limits? There's probably monsters on the board. Is yeah. that cat on your game, bro? No, that was the cat in my house. Oh, fragrant. So, another thing that's fucking retarded is when you press L1 to walk faster, this shit walks faster. No, you have to hold it. And it's not like. And they do walk a little faster. It just depends on where you're at in the game and what you're doing as to how much faster. Man, they walk, they walk significantly faster. Shit falling off the walls and shit. I think I'm about to piss myself. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I it's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. Found a diagram of the ship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, wait, what was that? There's a picture back here on the wall. Oh, no. No, it's not. Who are you playing with? Who are you no, playing with? I am the white chick. Freaking Alex's. See what the bathroom's got. <clears throat> How you finding all these motherfucking secrets? Where you at? I need to find the secret. Man, I am walking right in and just taking every turn that I can. Me too. Whoa. The fuck? What does it say on my shit? Does it say I found a secret? No. Someone just ran behind me. I was in the bathroom. And I went to walk back out. And something just like ran across at the back which that's impossible
well? Is there anything we can use down here? I wonder what happened to him. I have no idea where you're at. Functionally ill. I'm in like this engine bay room, the engine room. picked up some shit uh, I think I picked up a little skull oh there you are take me where you was at Man, I was just in that door that I just walked out of dude you just hear what you just said I don't know the fuck you was at shit I'm trying to find the motherfucking little trinkets you found oh, there's the skull You read that book and shit. The red one? Yeah. Or this black one? Where's the black book at, motherfucker? Man, right by where the little skull was. Oh, man, you I should... didn't get to see no damn. You sure don't look around. I am looking around. Alright, cool, bet. I'm right by you. this what would you find a premonition Still with that book? Yeah, I'm done. Where you at? I want to find you. I hear you walking, but I don't. 
Oh, there you are. Now go to your left. Your other left. <laughs> Like how he doesn't turn the light off, he shines it behind him. Like the light's still not visible. Everyone quiet. Yeah, bitch, I know what my distributor cap looks like. de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Y'all know what it is. This is your boy Molum Seven Game and Seven Seas Productions, along with my homeboy Wes Harden. We done fucked this whole game up. How we fuck it up, bro? Well, Conrad's dead for one. 
These two are about to get shot. <laughs> we can save they punk ass. Oh, I'm Fliss. I know, right? At least somebody. Hey, shit. Hey, make sure Fliss let me hit before. Hey, here, I found something over here. I can't. Come, on. come back, come back. I can't. Why? Okay, I try to go back, and the dude with the flashlight pushes me. I think we are in two separate parts. Oh, wait, there you are. I was... What do you mean, come back? I was ahead of you. You were ahead of me. Alright, here, you can go look at it. Oh, that's not you. Oh, you're the black girl. Okay, okay. Yeah, I said I was Fliss. Dumbass name, man. That's just like a motherfucking name. That's just like a motherfucking name being tied. Or Ocean. I don't know. I think Ocean is a pretty name for a girl. See, that's where you fucked up, though, because my daughter was watching this video on YouTube, and this boy and her sister, his name was Ocean. His her name was Sky. Uh actually I mean I'm just saying that would have to be I don't know, that's kinda like a low comprehension level type of name. <laughs> like you was reading a fucking storybook and you're just like Ocean You know what I mean? You just blurted it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like Sky You know what I mean? Blanket, motherfucker. Come on man, how you making all them millions and you gonna name your fucking kid Blanket? Because he's Sorry, making Michael. million because Michael Jackson making millions of dollars and he didn't need to give a good goddamn what his kid's name was. Okay, so you gonna name your fucking other kid cover, motherfucker? Maybe. I irrational homicide. <laughs> that kid gonna get beat the fuck up. <laughs> Shit. Shit, his neck, his second kid should have been named Pillow. God, the life it would be to be Michael Jackson's kid. My fucking name Blanket. I know, right? Even being named Blanket, though, he probably still get all kind. Hey, it's Blanket. Can I get some cover? <laughs> You probably still get all kind of complicity. What's what? What was what was his other daughter? Uh, his other kid's name? I don't know. Watch it be man. something like Jeff or Rufus. Man, I just picked up a knife. Can we take it with us, you silly motherfucker? See, look, and she's a fucking lame. Shit, we need this shit. You got me fucked up. You better take Hey, did you. Hey, listen, did you stab somebody the last time? I don't know. I think. I don't remember. Cause you remember that one girl, the white girl, she gets caught in the water. Not in the water, but in the cesspool. And dude is trying to escape. And I think somebody gets stabbed. I thought I'm it was shot. To out. Okay, but yeah, motherfucker gets shot too, but I'm talking about stabbed though. Somebody gets stabbed. Man, we will figure it out. Man, we don't need to kill nobody else. I already killed the first motherfucker. You died on the ship? You go stay on the ship. With my slow reaction time, shit. No Found another premonition. Oh man, I stabbed my brother. That's what the fuck it is. I just shot a fucking premonition. So are you just playing with Fliss or are you playing with the other dude too? I'm Fliss. His brother. Keep moving. I mean, Brad's walking with me, but... Oh, 
Oh shit, knife out, mask off, we creeping silent. I know that's right. She got pissed. She gonna punch this motherfucker in his throat. Like, motherfucker, what the fuck are you talking about? He was real. Oh, let's go see what the fuck it was then. <laughs> Trophy for finding notebooks, eh? What just happened? The black book. Oh yeah, get your read off. Ah, get your read off. Ah, get your read off. Ah, get your read Hey, what? Come on, we should keep moving. I'm in the chapel now, bro. We need to find a way up on deck. Can we get the fuck out of here? Y'all heard it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Since they cursing, I can curse. <laughs> You ain't in no caskets. I'm stabbing me a bit. No, I'm seeing shit. Nah, bitch, we checking all oh, these caskets. That can't be a good sign. What was that? Did they have... Brad's ass is over here humming. Hey, shut up. What are you doing? Because them motherfuckers scared. You know, motherfuckers get scared, they tend to hum a little bit. Jesus, what happened 
down here. Now I'm getting fucking delusional and shit. I just saw a head drop on a rat, but it wasn't a rat. I mean, it wasn't a head, it was a fucking base. Oh, you in the kitchen? Yeah, no, I'm in some place that looked like a marcher bird. found a knife. Brad and Fliss are now separated. What did you just say, bro? I just got separated from Black from Brad. Oh man, this dude is starting to hallucinate like a motherfucker. Yeah, I am too. There was like a ghost or something just walked right behind me. Whoa, shit! I found some drugs. <laughs> hey, this mm. motherfucker, he just referenced Jay's D. He said, I got a lot of problems, but a headache ain't one. Mm. Oh, so you find time to joke, but you stuck on a boat and you hallucinating, you fucking weirdo. Find some liquor. He should have gave the zombie some aspirin, see if that motherfucker got better. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I found a motherfucker on the bed, bro. What kind of, with a gas mask on. I found two motherfuckers. Oh shit. Well, once again, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're tuning in, why you're tuning in? Y'all know what it is. This is your boy, Molum7. And we are playing Dark Pictures of College of Humanity. Along with my homeboy Wes Harden. He's on the other side of the sticks. She didn't bring her ass in this one. Oh, I don't know if I can hear what they can do. Man, he started walking fast as hell. And I wasn't holding L1. Ah, uh, shit, okay. Do you remember a motherfucker coming at y'all with a hammer? Bro, no, you don't remember that? Okay, so I take it we about to jump into the next scene. No, we're not. But in the same note, a motherfucker just came through with a hammer, and I think your boy gets his head busted in with a fucking hammer. The fuck is this place? Anybody that's tuning in, if you're tuning in while you're tuning in, please state your name, leave a like, comment, something. Well, that's uh, creepy. I'm playing, I'm playing with a homeboy that you lost. Mm. 
Why the fuck would you take a bullet out of a dead body and put it back in there? Hey, your brother's stupid, bro. <laughs> I'm Fliss. You Fliss, I know, but homeboy brother is stupid as shit, bro. He gonna pull a, a fucking bullet out of a motherfucker and put it back in there. Yup. Oh, God. Okay, what's happening? That was okay. me on accident. Whoever tuning in, say what's happening, man. Good morning to everybody from Indianapolis, Indiana. Also from Texas. Where you at in Texas, homeboy? Houston. Houston, Texas. Okay. Creepy Who are you playing doll. with now, bro? I just said Pliss. Pliss? Okay, so you just met up with me? No. Wait, what? Okay, well, I'm with her now. Okay. So how are we not on the same Man. court? Okay, Man, now be... you're looking over that dead body there. Oh, Did you find a gun or anything? Ooh, okay, she found something that I didn't. Well, at least she wasn't an idiot to put the bullet back in the motherfucker. What the fuck? Hold on. This is trivia shit, right? So, never mind. I know you're seeing something completely different than I am. So anybody that's tuning in, please be sure to stop by Wes Harden's channel. If you end up watching any parts of this or other parts of this, right now I think we are on completely separate parts. Yeah, of the we are, we are, we are. Because now, now I'm seeing something totally. I'm I'm seeing the same thing over again. But oh, different. I know where you're at. I remember that part. Just keep going back to the body. Oh shit. This nigga got all these leeches on him. Let's keep your head on straight. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I am not with your ass. I'm following ghosts around and shit. So, you found another picture, eh? Uh-huh. So how how can I leave and not kill my fucking brother? Oh shit! I done fucked up. Oh my god, man! Why is the reaction time so fucking fast on here? Because it's getting a reaction time. It's not trying to give it to you. Man, fuck that. Found a casket full of blood. This shit faster than even Resident Evil or something. I am playing the part that you was part playing last time. If you could tell me not how to kill this twerp ass motherfucker. Nah. Nah. My ass. 
already killed Conrad. Come on, bro. You already killed yeah, Conrad. He can die. <laughs> oh, so you don't give a fuck about the little whiny ass brother, huh? Fuck no. You fuck with Conrad, but you don't fuck with this week, motherfucker. Conrad is at least an asshole. I can dig it. Alright, what we got going on? This motherfucker scared of the dark too. You talking about get away, whiny ass motherfucker. <laughs> Dead people, stupid. The fuck a skeleton in. The outside. No, I'm going back in. <laughs> I swear this place did not look like this a second ago. Oh, wow, it's playing tricks on your ass too, huh? Uh-huh. Alright. Find me a weapon. I'm about to bust your motherfucking head when I see you, bro. I found gold. You found the Manchurian gold? Yep. So I feel like it's either kill or be killed. I think this motherfucker got air pockets in his brain. Dude, you can't tell me that having fucking one or two beers will have you fucked up at the point of coming to this motherfucking place. Oh shit. Brad. So that's you? Brad. You got a knife, don't you? I just whooped your ass, dog. Is she dead? That was the girl? You son of a bitch. Who, me? Yep. I killed her. Yep. She fucking dead. Well, goddamn, you were supposed to talk to me, motherfucker. No, you that that makes, me. no, fuck that. That makes it like knowing and shit like fuck that but we supposed to I just save said, these motherfuckers man I just said what's up Brad and then you're gonna swing at me with a fucking 
Ranch, that's your own damn fault. Nah, fuck that, man. Fuck <laughs> you didn't say hey, man. I'm in front of you. <laughs> it was. It wasn't just you. It was four other people too. Okay, well, they came after, but yeah, it is what it is. Oh man, how many of these motherfuckers are we gonna get out of life? That's all I was saying. <laughs> Shit, we have for American motherfuckers, like for real, for real. Now I'm underwater and shit. What the fuck? I say, how does this motherfucker swim that guy dang on fast? I'm drowning myself. Did I drown you, bro? No. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Deck, let's go. He's here. So now I'm gonna cut you from God damn it, man. Bro. I picked the wrong one. Nah, man, my react this reaction time. Nah, I meant to do. Before. I meant to do help. So you, you with me now? Mm-hmm. I went run. Come on, man! I'm pushing fucking buttons, man.
See, I even got my hand on the controller. I don't know if I'm boosting this shit in time or not. If it goes okay, red, I'm you're not. Fan. You said what? If it goes red, you don't. We gotta get some Don't a bitch. Yeah, this shit is going so fucking fast, like yeah. stupid ass fast. Yeah, in real life, the reaction would be even faster. Man, fuck all that, nigga, <laughs> man. It's a game. Yeah, but it's supposed to give you, like... Okay, it's giving you .3 seconds, man. Give me the fucking... Give me, give me something better than that, man. I just gotta be ready. It give you a real year life, to make a real life, choice, but... you, Real life, it's probably like a tenth of a second or less. Yeah, I think we'll be all right here. All right, so Fliss is dead. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I killed the pretty black chick. I did not mean to, but shit happened. Wes didn't warn me that I was about to kill that bitch. <laughs> and has anyone seen Fliss? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways. You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. You're agreed. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? It's all necessary. On, back to it. Speak soon. Well, once again, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you're tuning in, why you're tuning in? It's your boy, Molum7. Accompanied by my homeboy Wes Harden. <sighs> what a journey is going. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face. It, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could. But not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. We would have seen it by now. <sighs> what do you think actually happened on this ship? I haven't got a clue. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. There was a note about a storm in the logbook. I guess they got caught in it. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. This is the most insane 
anything I've ever asked. But are we on a ghost ship? I guess that's one way to look at it. So according to this letter I found, the guards here were absolutely terrified of something on the ship. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. It's high time we made a plan, folks. A real plan. The Duke of Milan. Getting onto it would be a good idea right about now. Fliss said we'd need the distributor cap. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. I think we're... Speaking clinically, totally effed. I don't remember this part. This is nuts, but maybe this is the ship that shot down our wrecked plane from the dive. shit. Now all of a sudden she got all the answers. And you didn't take her right over here to see what was up? Where'd you take a right at? I didn't. I was about to say, I didn't see an option to go right. Maybe at the end of this right here. Find a way up? Not yet, but I'm on it. Shut up, you didn't keep me from getting scratched and now I got a staff infection. <laughs> you guys, she walk around with Mercy, but she's just fucking scared and she can't even tell. This is your time to read that shit. Oh damn! Huh. Must have been moving some Don't get left out of here. here. The hell is he doing, you little perv? Try to press the R2 button.
Why is she lifting him? I'll pull you up. And if she was able to lift him, she could have pulled him up. I don't know, man. I think I'd rather a chick lift me than to pull me up and drop my ass. But I already rested in the boat. Shit, I'm trying to find a premonition. can shine through the wall. Hey, over here! Might be able to get through here. I like how they're both standing there looking at her, like... Let like, her do her this. goddamn <laughs> stuff, right. You got this, you go and, You go out here and struggle with that door. We're gonna call you Mrs. Struggles with Dicks. And then she let them through first. What the fuck? I don't know if I'd have married dude. See them titties? They're all mine. Yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna show them to you one more time. You see them? See how small they are? Yeah. Anybody got any donations? Go ahead and donate. I need a bigger breast size. If you weren't fucking okay. around, maybe you found this premonition. <laughs> yeah, if I wasn't fucking around. I think I just saw your flashlight. Find a radio yet? No, but it's gotta be around here. Somewhere. Okay, where the fuck are you at? Looking at a map. You in this room with like the deck and stuff? Dude, I'm so fucking sore.
found the radio. Yeah, that's gross. Found the radio, Mo. This poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hmm, sounds pretty desperate. Take a look. No freaking way. Mo. This thing actually still works? Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, I'm here, bro. Okay. Fuck. It's working. Does this mean we made it, money? Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it said the last time. Maybe there's something down there that can help us get the power back on. We need to get that radio working. One of us should wait here for a message. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. You? Come on. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my Indian <laughs> brother getting himself killed? How about showing me some brotherly love? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Ugh, whatever. Go, both of you. Have fun. You better come with me. All right. You and me, bro. Oh, shit. Maybe I should not have said I was not going to go. Damn, maybe we should have took our ass with us, bro. Hold on. Who made it out last time? Was it just a girl? I don't remember. I think it was just a girl. And I think we left her up there just like we just did. Okay? Say, nah, I broke my dick. Our wedding is off. <laughs> The fuck is that supposed to do?
looks like there was some sort of fight and Miss Charlie went to the brig. Ten day sentence. Must have been a big fight. They talking about the dudes. So. Yeah, this is the same one that you picked up when you were in there. And dip tire coming today. That's what's up. Wow. Jesus. So, Manchurian Go is a chemical munitions. Yep. Uh, Cause hallucinations and stuff. I was reading it. Yeah, so that means. Whatever the fucking gold you found, that was a hallucination then, right? No, it's a agent that causes hallucinations. Oh. So you found the Manchurian girl? Fliss found it. And then we killed her dumb ass. Shit. You don't remember all that fog floating around the ship and shit? Right. So that was the Manchurian girl? Yeah, that was like, uh... Shit coming off of it. I was just about to grab that motherfucker. Hmm. <laughs> Could have been the son of somebody on board. There you go, you can get it. Maybe it was meant for me to pick it up and give it to you. Two soldier. Uh, when you go out of that room, there's another door across, and then there's like a drop down. Like you'll go into the room with a, a walkway. So you, so you didn't go to your left when you came out of the other. No, the I right didn't. When you came out. Yeah, I didn't go back the way we came. I like 
I went to that next one and then I dropped down. Family, they love being verified like this. Fuck! Whoa, whoa, whoa! God damn it! What is it? Uh, you didn't fucking see that? Ray, no. Of course you didn't. Uh, you all right over there? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. Care to elaborate? So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here. And it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucination. That was what this stuff was designed to do. They gave it to the sailors, too. We knew they were scared shitless of something. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. So, the plane wreck from our dive, it's part of this, isn't it? It was a search and rescue plane. The whole reason it even came out here was because the people on the ship sent out a distress signal. I guess by the time the plane got here, it was too late. Everyone on the ship had lost their minds, so they shot it down. Who knows what the hell they were thinking? Or what they thought they saw? Oh, man. Okay, well, let's keep going. Fisherman brought it from the Duke. Yeah. It, does it work still? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? It's gonna slow us down. Never know. Yeah. We should take it with us. Uh, there are parts of the ship that are completely submerged.
keep calm. Do it, bro. I did it. <laughs> There's no use hiding, you little fuck. Hey, you little fucks. <laughs> What's the problem with sharing all that gold? Eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. See, you already high as fuck off of it, motherfucker. Come on, man! My God, that was your ass. Don't worry, we can make it through this. Stretch your fingers. You think it'll keep him back? Hell yeah, it will. See, he got a hammer. Motherfucker, all that ass there. And that motherfucker hallucinating some shit. Ain't no telling what the fuck we about to do. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go on changing on me now. Turn around. Oh, slow. Real slow. Okay. Alright. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Open the door. Hey, man. I don't have an option for that. beef with you, okay? We just want guy out of here. In one piece. All right? I'm sorry, but if you're breathing... And you don't put much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Ah, but again, it's all good changing on me. What? what? What's changing? Stay away. Stay back from the mist. Hey, there's no mist, man. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist. She's thinking, bro. Inside with us now. Hey, calm down, man. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Hey, listen to me. I promise you, I have not breathed in any mist. Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay. Look, there was something in the last room. A, a, a fog or a mist, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, I, I mean, tell the breath, man. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. I don't remember.
remember that in the last one. Do you? Nah, I don't either. Yeah, yeah, if you stop by and you're viewing it, you're viewing the gameplay of Madai, be sure to hit that like button and stay tuned. We are almost at the end of this set. Trying to get this dude through here. Oh, shit. Gotta get this motherfucker some air. Go ahead and go up and get some air. God, what kind of haunted house bullshit is this?
Wes, what they got you doing, boss? What the fuck, man? I pressed what? square. I hope I made it. Shows the girl. Yeah. Oh, that's the Manchurian gold, huh? Mm -hmm. Get out of there! Now! I thought it was a button, like, press, and it was one of those tap. Oh, my God, man. Did you get her killed, bro? Yeah, I thought it was a button press because Square <laughs> came up. And... So I thought it was a button press, and Square came up, and I pressed Square, and then the little circle popped up, and it's like, oh, damn, it's a tap. Where you have to, like, keep tapping it fast. So, what would you tell her husband that you killed her? Or she got crushed by her? a fucking door. <laughs> like, tell him what happened. Yeah. She got crushed by a motherfucking door. Man, that's deeper than sea biscuit.
Bro, we was at the end too. Well, this time we had to survive. One more than last time. Come on. We came. We saw. And they still got fucked up. Okay. Guess it's time to see if it's working. It was a whole different sequence at the end, though. Mm-hmm. Well, as y'all saw, as y'all saw, we came, we saw, we made it out as brothers. We fucking slayed everybody else on the map. Mm -mm. Oh, and the curator saw me. He's so happy. He... That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends what makes you happy, really. Things got a little heated at the end there, didn't they? It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, Maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable.
Good game. <clears throat> Shouts out to my homeboy Wes Harden for playing oh. through with me. Be sure to check out his channel to also see the opposite side of the story and the gameplay which which with which we just took place in. In the same note, we will be hitting y'all with further streams. Hmm. Maybe even later on today. Maybe even the day after that. Maybe we have even 12. in an hour for now. What he just said. Uh oh. What's up with this? What's this? Uh -huh. Oh, so somebody else survived up in that motherfucker. And he wasn't even on our squad. The difference is, is he stuck on the boat? Yeah, oh shit. The army. Remember when we called for help? Yeah. Is it Russian? Chinese? So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. No. Nope. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. Still Manchurian gold floating around in there too. Mm -hmm. I feel like they would have came in there with gas masks on in real life. And been deep as fuck. Danny killed them motherfuckers. Oh, shit. I just saw someone. It looks like we're getting a preview of Little Hope. Okay, very good. Who's there? Which Hope did you get? I don't know. I'm looking at the preview for Little Hope. My trophy was learn to work together. Well, are you looking at the Little Hope preview or...? Yeah, I'm still looking at it. Once again, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in. If you was tuning in while you was tuning in, you know what it is. It's your boy Molum Seven Seven Seas Productions. Yes, chilling with my boy Wes Harden. We will be continuing on so we can get these other 